Why do we need to be concerned with mercury? Uh, mercury is an immensely powerful metal. In the metals, there's what are called hard and soft metals. Uh, and uh, the soft metals like what are called sulfhydryl groups. The quintessential sulfhydryl building block of proteins is called a cysteine. It's a central amino acid and it's got this sulfhydryl group. Sulfhydryl groups are very active through all of our chemistry to do a number of different things. They're switching between uh, bonding with other, other sulfhydryls to link things together and then opening them back up to release them. They're a very potent antioxidant. Uh, that's the cysteine is one-third of the glutathione molecule. The glutathione molecule is the central antioxidant in the body. Enzymes Enzymes feature a big organic molecule with a metal at the center. You tether the metal in with cysteine groups, whether that's copper or zinc, uh, occasionally a molybdenum. They're held on there by these cysteine groups. Uh, Boyd Haley was just telling me today uh, about the main hormone binding site for, I believe, luteinizing hormone. It's a big arm that features all of these cysteine groups on it. Well, there's nothing that has higher affinity for cysteine groups than mercury. So say you want to hold a zinc in place in an enzyme. Zinc has an affinity for that cysteine. But the affinity of mercury for that cysteine might be on the order of, oh, probably a billion times higher than the zinc. If the zinc is in place there and the mercury comes by, the cysteine tethers are going to move over to the, cyst to the, to the mercury. And then you've defunctionalized your enzyme. Your enzyme is responsible for a number of different chemical pathways. Each enzyme making reactions happen at rates that are unfavorable in a beaker. And that's how you create life in your body, is by making reactions happen in little areas of your body that would not normally happen by controlling little aspects of chemistry. Nothing is better at mucking up these little micro reactors that you have than mercury ions. So it's got this sort of infinite ability to get in and muck up chemistry. Uh, and so that's the general view. But even when you look at the systems that function to remove it, it even mucks up those systems themselves. So you've got, I had mentioned that inflammation in the gut is going to downregulate uh, the whole glutathione system. And you have a great way of creating that inflammation by swallowing amalgam products all the time. In the monkey study where they put amalgams into the monkeys, the amount of mercury going through the stool rose a million fold after they put, uh, after they put the amalgams in. It went to a level that would be, uh, for the EPA, you would probably become a Superfund site. Now it slowly comes down after that, but it stays on average uh, 10 times higher than someone without amalgam. So you have this conveyor belt of mercury moving down there, stopping the gate at which the mercury is supposed to come out. At the same time that the mercury is vaporizing from the amalgams, and you have 80% absorption through the lungs. So you're injecting it through the lungs, and then you close the door out. This is a fairly dangerous scenario. Even in the absence of the inflammation in the gut. Those transporters weren't designed just to move mercury glutathione conjugates out. They were, moved, they were designed to move a f you know, whole families of different molecules out. And uh, painfully ironically, as the mercury tries to go through that door, it's squeezing through there. It's not necessarily based on size, but as it's going through there, the whole transport mechanism slows down. So if you build up the mercury around that transport mechanism, you slow it down. And you slow it down not only for the mercury, but for all the toxins that have to move through there. So this buildup of metals in the gut, unless you flush them away, is going to slow down that whole transport system out. So this is a somewhat diabolical uh, effect of mercury, is that uh, you want to get it out, but it gums up the whole works to get it out. And those works don't just get mercury out, they get a whole number of things out.